Today, I want to talk about a new feature that crept into database release 19c without that much fanfare, the fast ingest capability. This is a potential game changer for some types of application. Fast ingest is aimed at applications that have a high insert workload, specifically where the inserts are small. Large scale bulk inserts, the sort of thing you do when refreshing your data warehouse tables, they've been tunable for a long time with techniques such as parallel processing and direct load. But those facilities can't help with the small single row operations you tend to get in OLTP environments. If you have to deal with high numbers of small insert transactions, you may well find that your database is grinding to a halt with the workload of undo and redo generation, commit processing, buffer cache problems. Now, if you are seeing wait events, such as log file sync or buffer busy wait, then there may not be much you can do about it other than throw money at the problem, more and faster hardware, or perhaps convert to rack. But now there may be a solution and it even works in standard edition. Fast ingest first appears in the 19.12 release update. Back then, it did have some limitations, such as restrictions on data types and a fair few bugs. But by the time you get to release 23C, it does seem to have stabilized. So what is it? It's a new and very different transaction mechanism. Your session server process writes rows to a memory structure in the large pool, which completely eliminates any buffer cache issues. You have no control over the structure. It's created for you the first time a fast, insert, a fast ingest insert is made. In my database, you can see it here. Select star v or sj stats, where pool equals large pool. And there it is. Oracle has given me a two gigabytes fast ingest pool. There's also a view $3 mem optimized write area. There again, we see the size, not much of it used. And also we see number of writers. Now that tells you how many writer processes you actually have to flush this buffer to disk. Now, the writing is done by the space management coordinator process, which calls on worker processes to actually do the job. And right now, I've got three of them. The worker processes are, of course, ephemeral, spawned as required. The writes are asynchronous with regard to executing the inserts. Most importantly, fast ingest does not generate redo and undo. That's a big reason why it's so fast. But it also means that it is not ACID compliant. Ted Cod must be spinning in his grave. So let's see how it works. So first I'll create a little table. Create table T1, C1 number, primary key, C2 date. And then I'm going to alter the table to enable fast ingest. Alter table T1, mem optimize all writes. In release 19, which is what I'm using here, to use fast ingest, you give you insert a hint like this. Insert slash star plus mem optimize right star slash into T1 values one sys date.
one row created then select it back huh where's my row well it hasn't been written to disk yet it's still sitting in the large pool and because it hasn't been written to disk it can't be read into the buffer cache from the data file I can wait a few seconds and it will be written or I can force a write in real time with execute dbms mem optimize admin writes flush and now I can read the row back there it is what if I try it from another session This is impossible. That insert has not been committed. And yet another session can see it. As though it's a dirty read. What if I don't commit it? But rollback. Rollback complete. Select from T1. And it's still there. That's also impossible, isn't it? Furthermore, if the instance were to fail before the write occurred, the buffered rows would be lost. So clearly, your application needs to tolerate the possibility of dirty reads, the possibility of data loss. Is that a problem? Well, that depends on your application. Fast ingest was a bit limited in the first release and is certainly not ACID compliant. Is that a problem? Depends on the application. If your application is, for instance, an artificial intelligence application doing clickstream analysis, fast ingest will be perfect. Really high volume, small inserts, and if you were to lose a few transactions, it wouldn't matter. Whereas if your application were doing financial transactions, losing one might be disastrous. So to conclude, this is a facility to use with caution, but a potential lifesaver for some high load applications. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel.